Oh, good morning. Did anyone else have <laughs> the sheets are off the bed? Um, my, so my cat's freaking out. Does, did anyone else have a parent or stepdad or whatever who to wake you up in the mornings would sing what like that good morning song was it from Oklahoma or somewhere? Oh my God, she's freaking out. But it's like, what, what, it's the one, what is it? Good morning, good morning. We've talked the whole night through. <laughs> anyway, I don't know, for some reason that was like in my head this morning. So I was just like thinking about that. My dad and my stepdad used to always... My kid's outside playing in the, uh, the dirt. Um, so we've got a little while. So I was gonna do this video yesterday, but then I didn't really wanna do a whole dedicated video to the detox box. Um, so then I just thought, let's do sort of like a vlog style, something or other. So we're just gonna do a lot of random things today. So I made some tea this morning. It's just chamomile tea, nothing special. I'm gonna spray my Aura Shield from Pacific Northwest Essences just around me. I love the way this one smells. I keep these, um, I keep these Aura Mists like in my little, in my little vanity back here and I have uh, some essential oils too for my diffuser so like anytime I just want to like you know I just put them all there take them out as I need them um but I like those those aura mists are really nice it's like if you if you remember um lotus way I haven't heard anything about lotus way in a while I, I mean I know they're still around but I don't know if like their social media is just like they don't do that much with it or whatever but um what were they called they, they were like the aura mists um, for them too, but I forget what they were called. I have a couple still. I don't use them that often, but if you liked those, um, I mean, these are similar because it's like, you know, you just spray the aura. So anyway, we're going to do some random stuff today. Um, I cut off my last watermelon or my second, <laughs> I only had two watermelons. Um, the first one split and I ended up throwing it away um, and I never tried it. The second one, I just cut off my watermelon plant this week because it's getting really cold outside and the plants are just like dying. So I'm just, I was just, I just cut it off. It's in the fridge. Um, and then my neighbors brought over a normal watermelon because they went out of town and they asked if I just wanted the watermelon since they can't take it with them. Um, so we're gonna do a taste test of my, my homegrown watermelon. It's like this tiny tiny little baby thing um, against like a normal watermelon. So we'll do that, that's gonna be kind of fun. Um, I'll show you lunch. I will show you the detox box. Um, maybe we'll do some makeup or something. I don't know, we're, we're gonna make cookies today. I just thought, you know, we do kind of fun. So this isn't gonna be like my skincare video. Um, I will probably film that tomorrow. I've noticed this, so like, my glasses I think are breaking the capillaries up here because this just like keeps getting redder and redder and it like never stays. It's only really on one side. I like have a bunch, so I looked at it the other day and I have like a bunch of broken capillaries here. So that's fun. Um, so I don't know if I need to look at like glasses, something to like put there to like protect for my glasses or like new glasses, but they are new glasses. Like I just bought them. Anyway, so let's talk about the detox box since I'm going to hop in the shower because I'm obviously un unshowered. So this month is featuring Cora Organics, which is the brand that's owned or was founded by or whatever those celebrity brands. Um, Miranda Kerr, who was a Victoria's Secret model. She was married to Orlando Bloom for a while. I don't know what she does now besides this. So... Um, yeah, I never tried anything from this brand. They actually reached out to me, I wanna say it was like March, um, about a new launch that they were doing, but that ended up getting postponed, so I never actually tried anything from them. Um, I mean, but I'm kind of interested too. I mean, the ingredients look good. I, the, I mean, the products sound good. So the Detox Market is doing, uh, it's got two, it's launching two products in the Detox box. So it's the, I mean, and these are like kind of, well, one is like right up my alley. The other one's an oil, so it kind of depends on how you feel about, you know, more oils. So there's the Turmeric Brightening and Exfoliating Face Mask, which, I like that. And then there's the Noni Glow face oil. So I thought we would just do these together because I'm going to put this on. Because you leave it on for like 15 minutes and then I figure I'd just rinse it off in the shower and then maybe I'll come back on and we could do the oil. I don't know. I don't know if you can hear Oliver at all. He's like 
right over in this area somewhere he's like baking a dirt pie i don't know he's out there playing in the mud or <laughs> something okay so this is a t invigorating two-in-one facial exfoliating mask formulated to revitalize brighten and promote cell skin renewal turmeric papaya enzymes aspen bark peppermint so it does have like a minty feel and smell rosehip seeds um, for deeply exfoliating and refining tone and texture so you massage it into damp skin oh i forgot about that part and then you leave it on for five to 15 minutes to let the enzymes work their magic exfoliate with water in circular motions two to three times weekly so it's got aloe rosehip seed powder which is the exfoliating but it does also have some bamboo um arrowroot rosehip papaya Noni, turmeric, cedarwood, lavender, peppermint, coconut, some other things. Yeah, it does. I mean, it does have like a strong pepperminty smell. I don't mind that, but I don't mind like minty things sometimes. It depends on the formulation of it. There have been some minty things that I've tried that have just been like so overly minty that I can't use them. They're way too intense. Like the Osea Mud Cleanser is way too intense for my face. I cannot use that. So we'll do this in a minute. And then the other is the Noni glow face oil so it's a powerful rich yet delicate treatment oil designed for the face and neck so it's got noni rosehip pomegranate to smooth nourish and brighten your skin so it's rosehip jojoba sunflower um, it does have caprylic uh, triglycerides which is coconut derived i haven't had any issues with it um, noni pomegranate sea buckthorn grape lavender jasmine clove um, rose i mean i i think it's pretty pleasant i mean if you were looking for an oil so if you got the beauty heroes box um, and you were looking for like an oil to sort of go with it and you didn't want to buy the biophile oil i think you would probably be fine with this if say you get this box and the uh, the beauty heroes box at the same time maybe you're subscribed to both I think that this would probably be fine. I've been using it interchangeably with the, you know, with a couple of oils that I'm trying. Haven't had any issues with it. As you can see, my skin is doing relatively well. I did have a few breakouts around my chin um, the last couple nights, which is unfortunate. Or unfortunate, <laughs> unfortunate, um, because the rest of my skin is doing um, pretty well. So that's the detox box this month. Um, I do really like them. Um, the oil, I mean, I could take it or leave it because I've got so many oils and it's I, it's not one that I'd rebuy. But um, not just because it's not good, but like, I mean, I've talked to you. I mean, I have so many oils. There's so many other special formulas. It's a nice oil. It doesn't break me out. Um, you know, it does give me like kind of like a glow. It moisturizes my face very nicely. But is it like revolutionary? I would say no, but um, I do really like this. I mean, I love exfoliating products. This is actually the only exfoliating product that I've really been using for the last couple of weeks since I've been trying to heal my skin. Um, I've used this a couple of times. I've noticed like a brightening of my skin when I've used it. I've noticed that my face feels really exfoliated. I feel like <laughs> when I use this, I mean, because the color is kind of similar. So it's like this, I mean, you'll see it when I rub it on my face, but it's sort of like this brown, whatever. I feel like this is what the Josh Rosebrick active enzyme exfoliator is like meant to be like how that should make my like how this makes my skin feel is how that should make my skin feel except it doesn't. Um, you know, I've talked about how I don't really like that product because it never it doesn't exfoliate my skin physically or chemically. This one exfoliates it both and it's gentle. It makes my skin feel really nice. It makes my skin look brighter. Um, I really have been enjoying it. So I mean, I don't know, take that as you will. <laughs> but yeah, if you're into exfoliating products, sort of products that are for brightening, making your skin look kind of glowy, I think you'll really enjoy this box. Um, I've, I mean, I haven't really heard much about Cora Organics. If that is something that you're interested in seeing more of, they did all, um, I have still been in contact with them, even though they haven't sent me whatever like the new launch is. Um, they have asked if I've wanted to try some other products and I haven't responded yet. So if that's something that you're interested in seeing, I could pick up a couple 
um, of other products. They have a vitamin C serum that looks really interesting. They have like a, a nighttime, is it like a retinol or a bakuchiol product or something like that? They've got you know, like a sleeping mask, they've got some cleansers. Um, some stuff is out of stock, but if there's, you know, if you want to see more from Cora Organics, let me know and I could reach back out to them and just be like, yeah, hey, send me a few things. You know, let's review it and see what happens. I mean, because I, I mean, the ingredients are nice. Um, most celebrity brands sort of turn me off, but um, maybe that's just like makeup. Like makeup celebrity brands sort of turn me off. I don't know. I mean, Cora Organics has been around what? 2009? So I mean, it's not like it's new. It's been around a while. Um, yeah, so that's really all that I've got for right now. Um, oh, actually, you know, I was going to talk about one other thing. So Olivia just recently released their cranberry body cleanse. It's a limited edition scent. They only release it in the winter. Um, this is mine from last year. Does anybody else save like their most favorite or like stuff that they don't want to use up right away? So they like have it for the rest of the year. I don't know. I didn't want to use this up <laughs> until I could get like more stock. Um, but I'm gonna use this in the shower today because it just smells so amazing. So it's cranberry. It smells like, I mean, it's funny. I don't like cranberry sauce or cranberries. I love the way this smells though. So yeah, if you have tried this scent or maybe you missed it last year, um, it is back for a limited time. I will leave the link for it below and I do have a coupon code with them if you feel like shopping. I bought three uh, to, to last me through next year. That one is my favorite scent that they do. My second favorite is probably the Orchid Body Cleanse. This one also smells lovely. Um, I'm using their original like enzymatic cleanse right now that doesn't have any scent. And then I have used their lavender and I feel like I've used, oh yeah, I have. I've used their like Japanese honeysuckle or it's like green tea honeysuckle, something like that. I've used that one as well. Um, but I do enjoy the scent of the cranberry one the best. So I don't know, maybe <laughs> grab a few bottles if you uh, don't want to wait for next year. All right, so I'm gonna go dampen my face really quick and then we're gonna put on the mask and then I'm gonna try to drag my child from outside so we can take a shower and get on with our day. <laughs> and I figured this would just be more like a chill, like a chill video. I mean, cause obviously I'm doing my sheets. Um, so I've got like, you know, the blankets are back there. I thought we could do some like fun stuff today. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. <laughs> Especially if we, um, you know, taste test watermelons, bake cookies, things of that nature. Just do a touch, touch more on my forehead. Ooh, ooh, losing the cap. What are your guys' thoughts on Cora Organics? Just curious. It's not a brand that I ever really like looked at before. Like I knew it was out there and I knew the detox market carried it. But it wasn't until they like, um, you know, contacted me about whatever their new release. I think it's been delayed because of like the COVID stuff. But, um, all right, well, that's that. I'm gonna leave it on for like 15 minutes and try to drag my child from outside before I get in the shower and take it off. I will show you my skin um, once I get out of the shower and then Maybe we'll do like a quick makeup together or something. I don't really know what I'm doing yet. We're just, you know, we're just winging it today because that just feels like what we should do. <laughs> okay, I'm in the middle of making lunch for the hungry heathens of my household. <laughs> hungry heathens of my household. Um, but I just wanted to show you what my skin looked post um, the Cora Organics mask. So I haven't done anything to my skin yet. I haven't put any other skincare on. It's nice and smooth. I feel like it's like lightly um, brightened. I mean, of course, depending on your level of dullness <clears throat> will determine how much brightening that you see. And my skin since is doing pretty good at the moment. Um, I mean, I feel like it looks really good. It looks pretty glowy for me not having done anything to it yet. So I'll be back on in a tiny bit so I can show you the oil. Actually, you know what? Do you really need to see that? No, you, you don't. Um, Cause I'm gonna do my other skincare and then um, I'm gonna eat lunch and I'm waiting for a delivery from Prime and then we'll make cookies later. 
and try some watermelon. So yeah, these are the two products. If you're interested, I'll leave the links down below. I mean, I'm, I particularly like them. I like the mask at least. Um, so it depends on how you feel about another oil. We haven't gotten an oil in a box recently, have we? The only reason I have some extra oils is Beauty Hero sent me one and then I'm trying one from another company that I'll talk about in my, uh, my skincare updates video that I'll be uh, posting next week sometime or something. Um, but yeah, that's one that I've been testing. So, I mean, I've been testing some oils, but I've had them. I can't remember the last time we had an oil in a box. It's been a little bit, so maybe, I don't know, maybe you're in need of another oil, and if you are, this is, I do particularly like this one. I mean, I haven't noticed tremendous results yet because I've only been using this box for like a week or so. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Whoa. <laughs> I will, I'm going to go continue making lunch, and I will see you in a little bit. So this tiny watermelon and this big one. Okay, let's do a watermelon taste test. So this is the watermelon that I grew. Yeah, did I grow this in the garden? Yeah. <laughs> You're so cute. Um, I think <laughs> this one pollinated, I oh, can't remember if it was like the second week of September. I saw you eating popsicle. Nobody's eating popsicles. I saw you on the sun eating popsicle. I was not eating a popsicle, I promise. Um, but then I, so I took it off the vine like four days ago and then I stuck it in the fridge. So this is about how big it grew. And then for size comparison, here is the watermelon my neighbors brought over. <laughs> this is like humongous. So when they say that you have a baby the size of a watermelon at the end of your pregnancy, is this what they, is this what they mean? Yeah. Oh my me God. too. This is, hum this is humongous. And me too. Much larger than a baby. All right, so let's cut, let's cut the watermelon. I have no idea if they were supposed to grow bigger than this or if they were the tiny kind. I don't remember. You ready? Uh-huh. Oh, it's actually red inside. I didn't think there'd actually be any um, like red flesh inside. There's not very many seeds, so I wonder if it was like a seedless variety. That's pretty crazy though, that I grew a watermelon that actually had... Oh, and it's sweet! I bet this was just the baby kind. All right, here, there might be some seeds, so eat around the black things. And then wait, eat some seeds. No, don't eat the seeds, just spit the seeds out. What do you think, is it good? Is it good? Mm. Ooh, it's cold because it was in the fridge. Ooh, that was cold too. It's a little mealy, but it might be because I left it on too long because I didn't know if it was supposed to grow bigger than this or not. Mm. But it's sweet, it actually tastes good. I'm quite surprised. <laughs> what do you think? Mm -hmm. Best watermelon you've ever had? Probably not. <laughs> So anyway, so what I want to do this winter, it's supposed to start- Winter, winter, chicken dinner. Yeah, except no chicken. Um, what I want to do this winter is it's supposed to start getting cold um, tomorrow. Like it's going to be in the 60s. I don't know if it's another cold front or if it's going to stay that way. Um, but I want to redo the backyard this winter and like make it um, ready for sort of like spring gardening. So put in like a bunch of garden beds get a better composter. I'm looking into the sub pods. I'll link it down below in case you've never heard of it, but it like, it's like worm composting and I don't have, you know, I have like a composter in the backyard, but I've, I've, I think I've been doing it wrong cause it's never really done anything. Um, but like the worm composting, it's supposed to like break down like 35 pounds of food a week or something like that. And there's a place in town where I can actually get worms and I can get um, garden bed mix. Um, then you get some worms. Mm-hmm, worms. So, I mean, that's you what I kind of want to do. Here. Is that vegan gardening? I don't know. I don't, it's mm -hmm. like, I don't know how to do vegan gardening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as, lo as long as I can get dirt without, like, blood meal in it, I think I'm, I'm okay, like, with whatever other kind of, like, weird stuff is in it. I think I'm okay with that. Just, like, the blood meal kind of freaks me out, but I think the rest is fine. And, like, if it's worm composting, Hi. I don't... 
I don't really find that to be. Oh. Hi. Hi. You know, we'll have like worm pet kind of. <laughs> we feed them and they compost and they make stuff for us and then we can garden with it. Anyway, so I want to put a bunch of beds out there. I want to take out that, if you've ever seen my backyard, if you've watched my videos and my vlogs before, I want to take out that weird like brick in the middle that kind of looks like a pool. I've had a few people ask me if we used to have a pool. That's just the weird layout of the brick in the backyard. <laughs> There's supposed to be grass in it, but we I can't keep grass alive. Um, I've considered putting down like turf, like fake, fake grass, but I don't know. I think it kind of depends on how much gardening, garden beds I want to do, but I want to put a lot of gardening beds out there so I can like, you know, really start gardening next year. Because at least now I know I can grow watermelon. Kind of cool that I grew this. It's a little weird, like eating your baby almost. <laughs> You left all this part. You don't want this part? Uh-huh. Here, why don't you eat this? Eat that one. So anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh. So should we should we taste it? You know what? I don't even know if I want to taste test this. Because like this thing is humongous. I really don't want to open this right now. And this is better than I thought it would be. I did not think it was gonna taste this sweet. Mm -hmm. This was kind of like backup. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with my watermelon. I grew, I grew mm. a watermelon. Can you believe it? I can't. Um, I had some basil out there for a little while, but I didn't water it, um, so it died. The cantaloupe never did anything. I think I need a, a, a better functioning garden with like bees and stuff to have cantaloupe. Plus I need it. I need a trellis for a cantaloupe, really. Mm, 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 mm. I could have, if Come I on, get- Come on, get a little trust, pandas. <laughs> if I do, if I do these baby watermelons again, um, I could put these on a trellis too and then have them climb to grow because they don't need to be on the ground. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I think I want to document that. So like, you know, backyard, redoing the backyard and then, um, you know, gardening next year. I think I want to do some more like gardening mm. content and stuff like that. I still can't believe it though. Can you believe I grew this, Oliver? Mm-hmm. He could believe it. I can't believe it. It's so crazy. I can't believe it actually tastes good. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to. All right, we're gonna eat this, I guess, and then we'll be back in a little bit because we're gonna make, what are we gonna make? Chocolate cookies. Chocolate cookies. Oh, look, you can see how long my hair is from this angle. It's like down to this part of my ribs. I'm, I'm ready to cut like, like all of it off. I'm ready. Okay, so in case anybody is curious what chocolate chip recipe I use, I like the one from the book, A Thousand Vegan Recipes by Robin Robertson. And um, it is the but chocolate chip cookie recipe. The only thing me. about it, like you can tell how many times we've made this recipe because so it's all broken today. at the binding. Um, but excuse me. Um, the only thing about this recipe is that it's not very wet. So I do have to add a couple, like some milk. I have to sort of like eyeball it and like feel it out and see. Otherwise it's very crumbly. It's not, it's not very wet because all it has in it is margarine, which is probably normal for a chocolate chip cookie recipe. I haven't actually tried any others because I like the flavor of this one. Um, oh, there's maple syrup in here. So it's margarine, maple syrup, vanilla, but that's all the wet ingredients. I feel like there should be, well, there's usually eggs in like chocolate chip cookie recipe. So there's some, um, some liquid it's missing out on, but I do, I just have a little bit of milk and um, and like, like a raw milk. And we use bananas all the time. We use bananas all the time. <laughs> do we? <laughs> all right, so I just wanted to tell you that. Up and, and down, then up and down, up and down, up and down. We're just gonna make cookies right now, right? Up and down, up and down.
Where's that guy? Where's that guy right here? What hmm? What's this? Hey, what's his name? What do you want to name him? Let's name him Apple. Oliver? Uh huh. <laughs> Press the crab. What's that? The drone is drone. glittering like a diamond. It's beautiful now. Now anyone who sits on the throne can feel like royalty. Sparkly royalty. Okay, let's move to the next step. Let me use the cat. Returning to the egg, it suddenly started to hatch. Mama! Papa! Wow! Uh, we're a little young to be parents, especially for a baby crocodile. A but baby I guess crocodile? All babies deserve love. Space! Hi, little croco baby, you're beautiful. <laughs> 